Hello there you beautiful people. Now when you're using files or when you're using data from standard output it's very likely that you won't want all of the data but rather you'll just want a specific piece of it and you'll want to cut out all the rest. Now the way that we do that in Linux is using a command called the grep command and if you've ever searched about Linux on your own maybe just been you know using a search engine having a look around you'll no doubt have already come across the grep command that's just how useful it is. So in the next few videos we're going to be showing you how you can use the grep command to search through files and standard output so that you can filter out just the data that is important to you and by the end of the next few videos you're going to have a very powerful new tool that will allow you to do what you want much faster help you find things in data much faster and really help you cut out a lot of the fluff that you don't want so that you can get the results that you want so let's just go ahead and get right into it Okay, so as a quick heads up, the first thing I want to talk about is what the grep command actually does, okay, before we start discussing how it works. So the grep command will search whatever input that you give it for lines that contain a particular piece of text that you tell it to search for, okay? So for example, I have a file here called hello.txt on our desktop, and if I head over to the desktop and use the cat command to take a look at what's inside it, Surprise, surprise, it says, <laughs> hello there, you beautiful people, with each word on its own line. Now, let's use the grep command to find all the lines in there that contain the letter E. Okay, now the way that we do that is we would type um, grep, then what we're searching for, so the letter E, and then what we're looking in. So we'd say in hello dot text. Okay, so here what we're saying is, hey grep, find every line in hello.txt that contains the letter E. And now by default, the grep command is case sensitive, so uppercase and lowercase do matter. Okay, so if I press enter, you'll see here that we're seeing the lines that contain the letter E, um, and even the, the letters themselves have also been highlighted. So that's pretty cool. Now, interestingly, in 1939, there was a person called Ernest Vincent Wright um, who wrote a novel called Gadsby that was about 50,000 words long. Now, the special thing about Gadsby was that even though it was 50,000 words long, not once was the letter E used. Now, isn't that incredible? Especially if you consider that the letter E is apparently the most commonly used letter in the English alphabet. So that's really quite an achievement to write a 50,000 word book, um, like a story, without using the letter E. Um, and I just so happen, uh, I don't know how this happened, <laughs> to have a copy of Gadsby here in this randomly created folder on our desktop um, called Gadsby uh, right here. So here we are, Gadsby Manuscript. Txt. Now the book is so old now that it's freely available in the public domain and you can get access to it too using the link that I'll put in the resources. Now anyway, the reason for this is that we can use the grep command to count the number of lines uh, that a certain piece of text appears. Okay, so for example, we see that when we search for the letter E in hello.txt, um, we get four results, right? So we get hello, there, beautiful, and people. Okay, so we can actually confirm this. We can take a look by giving the grep command the C option, and this will tell you how many lines. It'll just give you the number of lines that, uh, that it finds, and it tells us that we get four. Okay, so it says, it. hey, I found four lines that had the letter E in them in hello.txt. Now, we have the text file called gadsbymanuscript.txt, okay, and if we open it, you can see that there is so much stuff in here, okay, there's, the, the, in fact, the book is about 43 chapters long with over 50,000 words, and actually, I can tell you how many lines is in there by um, going into the, the Gadsby folder and using the word count with the L command on the Gadsby manuscript, and it tells us, there's, it tells us that there's 1,914 lines, which is quite a lot of lines, okay, so let's try and search for the word Gadsby in the book Gadsby. Okay, so if I do grep Gadsby inside Gadsby manuscript.txt, you'll notice that nothing shows up. And the reason that nothing shows up is because Gadsby starts with a capital G, and we spelt it with a lowercase g here. Now we can search in a case insensitive manner, so that uppercase and lowercase don't matter at all, by giving the grep command the I option. Okay, so when we do that, we'll see that it's shown us, it shown us the, uh, the different amount of results here. Okay, and there's quite a few times that Gadsby has appeared <laughs> in the book Gadsby. Okay, so let's clear the screen. Um, you can also search for the letter A 
in the Gatsby book um, just by putting uh, the letter A here and we'll see that we get a whole bunch of lines where the letter A is used okay uh, and we can count that as well if we want by pressing the C option and we see there's 951 lines that contain the letter A so that's quite a lot so now let's try it and see how many times the book uses the letter E Okay, so the way that we do that is we don't care whether it's uppercase or lowercase. We don't want any E's, so we're going to keep it case insensitive. And we're going to count how many lines there are, and we're going to put there the letter E. And if we go ahead now and press enter, we can see that the answer is zero. So the Gadsby manuscript doesn't use the letter E. And this has been approved, Linux approved, <laughs> that it doesn't use the letter E. So download the manuscript in the resources section and try it out um, for yourself. Now, you can actually also search for full sentences as long as you surround them in quotes. So uh, one phrase that's used quite a bit in the book is the, is the line, our boys. So we could search in there um, for our boys. And we're going to put that in quotes to make sure it goes in as one argument. And when we press enter, you can see there's nine lines that, that contain it. Um, but let's just take a look as well to see them. So you can see there's quite a few results uh, for the text, ah, boys. Now, you can also search for lines that don't match a specific piece of text, okay? Um, so you can see how many lines there are in the whole Gatsby document using the word count command. So if I do word count dash L, Gadsby manuscript, there's 1,914 lines, right? Now, because there's no letter E in Gadsby, there should be 1,914 lines without the letter E, right? Now, we can check that using the V option. Now, the V option basically does the opposite or invert the search, okay? So if we do um, grep, we do grep with the V option for E, okay, in Gadsby manuscript.txt, um, what we're doing is we are trying, this is going to find all the lines that don't have the letter E in them. Okay, so without the V, it'll find all the lines that do have E in them. And with the V option, it'll find all the lines that don't have the letter V in them. So let's do that. So now we saw a whole bunch of stuff has come out, but how many of them? How many of them have actually come out? Well, we can count them using the C option. And... I'm gonna cut it. I'm gonna cut it right there. Will it be 1,914 lines? Will Gadsby actually contain no letter E? Or <gasps> well, to save on time, come back in the next video to find out.